We continue with the Olstein cube now as we review it, and this will be called Olstein cube two. And like the first one, it will be saved in the seminary folder. Now, the box it came in uh, makes it much easier to see what is on the front of it and how it works. As you can see right there, it shows you everything you can do with it. And you see right there what you have to push in order to make certain things happen, which we will do in a moment. But also what's interesting about it, if you have something where you consider on that when you're listening to it, something like you like the best, it's, it's called favorites. And there's a little heart right there. That's a little heart. And if you hold that for three seconds while it's playing, that will save it for you. Now, also, you'll notice here there's a forward and backward looking section right there. That means you can replay something from the past or go forward and pick up something that you want. Now, when you actually are doing the uh, playing of it, this is the button you play it on right there. It's a central little button you, you hit right there. And this is the on off button on the very bottom. So once you turn it on, you will notice the date showing up right here. And then once you hit the play button in the center, it will play that affirmation cause there's volume control as well. So to give you a sample of that, what I'm gonna do is turn it on. Now you'll see the date and then you'll actually hear Joel Olstein's daily inspiration for today. We all have things that come against us in life. People that aren't fair, we're dealing with an illness, our business has gone down, we're praying, believing, doing the right thing, but nothing is changing. It's easy to get discouraged and think it's never going to improve. But the way you win some battles is not by defeating the opposition, but by outlasting the opposition. You have to have staying power. You can't be weak and give up because it's not happening on your timetable. Some enemies are stubborn. You have to outlast the trouble at work, outlast the difficulty in your marriage, outlast the slow season in your finances. We want God to deliver us from the attack, but if he's not changing it, it's real simple. You have to outlast it. But sometimes we feel like God has forgotten about us. We've seen him turn situations around in the past, but this problem won't seem to go away. God is still going to turn it around, but this time he's going to do it a different way. You have to have a holy determination a made up mind where you dig your heels in and say, I am in it for the long haul. Quitting is not an option. I am going to outlast this sickness. I'm going to outlast the addiction. I'm going to outlast this injustice. There's our first sample. We'll be back shortly. <laughs> 